Looking dazed, exhausted, and sunburned, Diana Nyad accomplished an amazing feat of endurance, a 53-hour swim from Cuba to Key West, Florida. This is her journey. I have failed four times before. It was the biggest this time. With the waves, we had bad weather in terms of wind, and that made me swallow all kinds of seawater. I've got deep lacerations all over the mouth, really painful, and, um, the, the, but the yin and the yang, the good thing, the Gulf Stream shined on us. It's always going in the wrong direction. It's always roiling in huge turbulence, but for me, it went north, and I went north with it. On Sunday night, the crew, I have five boats, they all started honking their horns and screaming. And I looked up and my, my intimate crew and the boat next to me, Bonnie and my navigator, they were pointing like that. And I looked over and I saw a, a whisper of white light on the horizon. And I thought, oh, they're just saying it's sunrise. We made it through the night again. And I said to Bonnie, is it sun coming up? Because I have no idea what time it is. I've been hallucinating. I thought I saw the Taj Mahal and Bonnie said, it's Key West. It's the lights of Key West. And um, that was it. I'm stronger, calmer, and in a, in a state of awe rather than in a state of ego. We should never, ever give up. Yeah!